He had a pick six early. He blocked an extra point to basically win the game. 14 tackles. Woo. Just got paid. Ladies and gentlemen, safety of the Pittsburgh Steelers, Minka Fitzpatrick. Hey, yeah. Yeah. What's up, man? What's going on? Hey, at what point yesterday did you think to yourself, they are not paying me enough money. Minka, <laughs> you just got broken off. Hell of a start, man. You should yeah. be very proud. Uh, going into that game, did you guys know what your defense was capable of? I mean, it's like seven sacks, five turnovers, something like that, six of this. I mean, you guys were dominant. Did you know going in that's what you guys were going to be, Minka? Yeah, I, I think I think we knew that. Uh, I think we, we got our whole defense back that we had in the years past. Uh, so we were able to go out there and play, uh, play like like we did in, in years past. So um, I don't think there's anything new. I think uh, everybody, you know, we, we worked real hard this off season with the new pieces that we brought in, and uh, we executed and did our job how, how we normally would. Somebody hey, said something. Uh -oh. <laughs> hey, what were your, what were like the team's emotions like, especially the last I don't know 10, 15 minutes of that game? Like it was bizarre watching that thing. It seemed like it was it was over seven different times where you thought it would be, and then yeah. you guys come out on top like. Was that a fun game to be a part of? I would imagine. Yeah, it it was fun because it's one of them games where where you had to like check yourself uh, off. The, you know what I'm saying? It's when when you think the game's about to be over, and then it's like, all right, deep, nope, defense out there. All right, nope, offense is back out there. Oh no, it's overtime. You know what I'm saying? So it's like uh, you couldn't you couldn't let yourself uh, go to the go to the place uh, uh, where you think, oh, we're about to lose this game, or oh, uh, like I said, on the field goal block, like. Like there was a for a second I was like oh, we're about to lose this game and go home all mad you know what I'm saying but then I was like ah oh, we got we got one more play I could I could I could go get this and, and, and change the game you know what I'm saying and, and that's what we did so uh, it, it was it was a, it was one of the wildest games I've been a part of for sure Minka you see that ball or you run blind just put your hands up and hope you hit it I know you 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 see it off his foot and then you just try and get to the block point you know what I'm saying you can't you can't follow the ball off his foot it's moving too fast but. You see it off his foot, see where it might be, and then you put your hands up, try and cover as much space as you can with open hands, and that's it. How much gum did Danny Smith chew? <laughs> <laughs> uh, man, at, least, at least 30 pieces. That man would be, be, be full, full mouth every game. A full hug there from him whenever you block that extra point, or how, what's the reaction afterwards? Because you guys got to obviously dial back in immediately. Yeah, no, it was it was a quick little little block party, as, as we call it. And, uh, and, uh, and and right on to the next snap. Uh, let's talk about the offense because we no 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 first. TJ, goddamn! Obviously, yeah. whenever they show the amount of years of the starters on the offense, on the defense, and in the special teams, the defense has a lot of OGs around there. Mm -hmm. Offense yeah. very new. TJ was one of obviously the pillars of the D. You lose him late in that game. He was a menace. I guess it's just now next man up, or what's the conversation like this? Whenever you lose the defensive MVP week one. Yeah, obviously it's, it's tough. Uh, TJ is a great player for us. He he balled out for the for the amount of time that he was in the game. Um, but yeah, like like you said, it's it's a next man up principle. Uh, you know, we love TJ. We gonna pray for TJ, and uh, hopefully he'll be back faster than, than what's important. Um, but but yeah, it's a next man up. We got to get whoever's uh, gonna be playing in there for him. Uh, up to speed and, and hip to, to the standard that, that we play to. Defense is going to have to win some games because the offense is going to still try to figure it out, even though it seems like it's going to be much better than people think. Tone Diggs, your question for Minka. Uh, Minka, they got you for a, a roughing call, Mickey Mouse roughing call, and then literally <laughs> the next play in the back of the end zone, I think it was the next play, you separated the wide receiver from the ball, and then it yeah. seemed like you had a couple words for the ref there. What would you tell him? <laughs> I asked myself, was that clean? Oh, okay. uh, maybe I shouldn't have said it, but but that's what I said. No, no, you should say that more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we should say that type of stuff more, a little yeah, accountability, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it was a very sarcastic remark, but <laughs> I, I was full of emotion, full of uh, energy, but... You know, they, they gave me two terrible calls. It is what it is. Hey, listen, it wouldn't be the Black Air Force One mentality if you didn't <laughs> talk to the ref a little bit after right, a fuck exactly, up. Now, exactly. let's exactly. talk about the locker room a little bit. Everybody sees put that shit on from Tomlin and him rapping yeah. in there. In the past, that was big conversation about like bad for the team feels like yeah. Tomlin is the perfect coach in the NFL a player a coach that I would want to play for. Is that yeah. the mindset in there that is, that looked electrifying in there and the fact that the head coach is right in the middle of it is awesome for the rest of the year yeah. how do you view coach Tomlin and what is the conversation about him in the locker room 
man, I, I love playing for Coach T, man. He, he's a he's a player's coach. He's allow he allows us to go out there and play how we want to play, but he's also going to challenge us. He's gonna he's gonna lead us, um, and I think everybody loves playing for him because 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 of that. You know what I'm saying? He allows us to be ourselves, but he doesn't want us to be robots. And uh, he also is himself. You know what I'm saying? He's not one of these step up thinks they're better than everybody else type coaches. He's a coach that uh, uh, he knows who he is. He's confident who he is. And, uh, you know, Coach T loves the game and he expresses it, you know what I'm saying? And, and the fact that he's in there dancing with us. He said before the game, well, you know, when we win, we're going to be in the locker room making TikToks and doing stupid dances, you know what I'm saying? Just, just the fun of it, you know what I'm saying? So the fact that he does that, we, we love it. Uh, uh, it makes the game a whole lot more fun for us. It seems like you guys are all like it's tough to ever count you guys out. Obviously, is that something you think Mike Tomlin kind of I don't know like it's a trickle down effect because the dude is always in it. He's always seems to be like one hundred percent. Your whole team seems to kind of have his personality. I feel like. Yeah, yeah. Coach T, he he said he has this phrase where he says, "Cut your eyelids off," right? So saying like, "Don't blink." So that means that that no matter what's going on in the game, don't act surprised. Don't act don't act like we're out down and out. Uh, act like you know, we're professionals. Uh, and go about every play like like a professional. Uh, you know that that phrase is just, is just saying embrace whatever comes, control what you can control. Uh, whether that's you know needing five turnovers to win a game or 400 yards passing to win a game, that's that's what we got to do to win. Uh, you know, yesterday was a perfect example of cutting our eyelids off and going out there and playing ball. You had to be surprised when Evan McPherson missed the 29 yard though, but bad operation mm -hmm. on his fault. That had to be a bit surprising, was it not? No, it, it, it was surprising. I mean, but it's football. Hey, yeah, don't no, blink. Don't, yeah. uh -huh. don't blink. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Minka, we appreciate you joining us. We know you got a meeting. We know it's a busy day. Uh, keep killing it, man. We can't wait to watch the rest of the season. And congrats on the bag. Yes, sir. Appreciate you. Appreciate you, back. Hey, good luck out there, ladies and gentlemen. Minka Fitzpatrick. Yeah. I'm happy you could squeeze us in there, honestly. Busy day for yeah. everybody over there. And the TJ Watt news, no fun in that building for the entire defense, I assume, AJ. Everybody, I mean, coaching staff. Yeah, it definitely would not be a whole lot of a lot of fun right now. But man, so he's guaranteed out for the year. No, uh, I, I heard there's rumors that he might not be. Right. Well, he's a what? What? So that is something to think about. And that's kind of what Minka just alluded to. I guess he'll be back sooner than people think. The news coming out is a little more optimistic that. Good. Apparently, apparently, it's not definitely surgery right now. They're trying to determine whether it's going to be surgery or rehab. Um, so mm. apparently, it's not the whole season nice. yet. Okay, so he's a one. Go. Be back. All right. There's hope. I think so. JJ think. came back. Remember last year that he made the most this remarkable recovery of all of time when he had a was peck. It? So maybe the watt pecs are different. Is it bicep or peck? Might have been bicep. Maybe it's the lake water. Get out of that lake. Yeah, they're going. They're doing oh. it in a cold tub. Yeah. yeah. Maybe he needs to go sit in that lake for like four or five oh, days, and then that peck will. No, Heal up. he needs to get one of those astronaut helmets that people wear underwater. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, you know one of those little things that you got around because he needs to get that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all there. the way in the lake. Zero right. Yeah. And TJ White, White definitely floats. You know, because he's, sure. he's yeah. a gift from the gods. Quick. Yes. So he needs to get one of those things on to get him to the bottom of that lake so we can really ice up. And they just need to change the oxygen mm -hmm. yep. so he can sit in there 24, 72 hours. They say a hyperbaric chamber is the way to go. He needs to be entrenched by the lake nectars exactly. up there in Wisconsin <laughs> for that tit to come back full. Sorry, that tit to come back fully. Do you think they could maybe just dunk him in the Mahonga Gala? The what? What? <laughs> <How dare you? laughs> maybe. <laughs> what? Maybe. What do you say? What you mean, the Mon? Yeah, the, the Mon. The Mononga Gala. I knew it was around there somewhere. What I just did you say? Mon Hongala? The, the Mon Hongala? All right, unbelievable. <laughs> it's some other that stuff. Or Yaka game, maybe. Yeah, well, or you know what? Just put them right there at the point. Let them drink in the, the Ohio. Let them drink in the Allegheny. What? Let them drink in the Monongahela. What? Give them one of those things. Yeah. Because there's dead bodies flashing by. <laughs> yeah. And we don't need him getting CTE from helmet to helmet contact. Well, you can sink them.